Finally, the weather is nice. We could say we are past over the so-called winter depression. At least for me, I have uh, two important plans in Marana Karakastana, Lagna Lord, Ascendant Lord Mercury, and also the moon is in eight. So maybe I need more light than others to compensate this because I'm without the light, I'm feeling like in the cave through these two yogas. So we are again sharing the observation from the client's chart. And remember as in the one of my previous videos I said this is the wealthiest chart, so probably this is even better. So it's hard for me to decide and definitely these two people will be the like one person of uh, society when we talk about the limit of wealth. And looking at the chart is interesting because we may infer that they have totally used the potentials of the chart. For example, we can see 10th and 11th exchange is there, so if we observe that this is manifesting in that way. You can also use that for other people if this combination will be present with their situation. It's not only about directing the person about the main path, but also within that path in terms of direction and more exact situation, how you are, how you can gain, how you can advance in that uh, specific a field in the field. Because, for example, both people may work in the property, both of them will have 11 from Aru Lagna, like Mars debilitated, but the rest of the chart will tell how they are starting this, what people or what elements, what strategy will be involved in their career life, which will be really uh, milestones when it comes to uh, big improvements. And this is also just karmically synchronized because I also get the uh, comments today about do the Venus and Moon video and uh, it happened that this person today has this yoga and especially connected to the most important point regarding the wealth. And we know that this combination exalts the moon because moon is strong as it's exalted in the Taurus, which is the sign of Venus. So moon and Venus is like exalts the moon and it's negatively for the health. It may show high blood pressure because it's like the moon, which is a racta representing the blood. It's going very high. But in the same time, when we talk about the food and about the second house, where also moon and the Venus are ruling the second house of wealth, this can also give the positively the wealth without the limits. But the yoga, moon and Venus, if it's somewhere floating in the air, it's just a blessing. We don't know which elements of our life this will touch. It's like some kind of chemical reaction which will expand or manifest in different way depending on which of the houses, which of the lords will bless. And this can give completely different results. So what do you think we will start with? The author of Sharavali says that we cannot make a step in direction of chart reading without having or using the divisional charts, which are called Vargas. This is just like correcting the mirror to see the back when we are parking the car, especially since the time given was 12, just 12. So uh, how much we should assume if it's like 11.45, we assume 15 minutes. If it's uh, 11.30, we can assume 30. But with the full hour, should I assume a 30 minutes or the whole hour? So we have many options. But also, finally, someone have to be born at exact 12. Going to the D1 chart. Some people will say, or astrologer, 10th house is the work. And yes, sometimes you will hit it. Some people will say, oh, Venus is wealth. And yes, in some chart, this will be exactly fitting. And if not, then you can always subordinate that to whatever you can find in the reality. For example, if it's Mercury, you can ask, is the Mercury and work having something together? Oh, the company and uncle, they are both starting at the letter T. So yes, this is precisely that what the chart indicates. All right, now let's go seriously to the D1 because people again start commenting, go straight to the point, go straight to the point. I want to draw attention to a few points in the chart, especially the first one, the person is working with the property. And of course, someone can say, oh, it's easy to say what was in the past, but it's hard to predict what will happen. But relationship is relationship between the reality and the chart. And we have to learn this. We have to learn the language of the Rishis, the language of karma, to be able to understand those tunnels of karma. Which options are there? What is predetermined and when 
and how we can make the choice. And to bring a huge wealth, we have basically three planetary setups. One is exaltation, debilitation, and the Atma Karaka. So exaltation, debilitation are just strength of planet, and this is based on the sign. For example, Mars is exalted in Capricorn and is debilitated in the Cancer, always. So some signs are favored and not favored or hated by the particular specific planets. So exaltation is the planet with the highest degree, it has the highest wisdom, and is a Raja. It could be king and soul. So again, like sun, it can give those two peripheral symbols. Very spiritual or king. So the factor is fulfilled. The Mars is debilitated. But someone can say, yes, you can justify this because Mars can also mean technology, security. Of course, there are few options in the Mars back, but not everything. There are only few things which will be fitting in the Mars back and which element will manifest from that back or that category will also depend on the other points in the chart. So there is not so much uh, free styling here with the traditional Vedic astrology. And the second important point is the fourth from the Sun. But Mercury and the Venus are in the Parivartana, so we should count from the Virgo. If we do so, the fourth from the Sun would be Jupiter. Now the question would be, is Jupiter related to properties? Right, we have Jupiter in the sign of Mercury, so there is this. We remember Jupiter and Mercury can give teaching or financial, direct working with the cash, with the finances. It can also go in these two uh, seemingly totally different, peripherally different manifestation. And uh, Jupiter is the fourth lord, so therefore it can indicate property. And the Mars is after the Jupiter, and then we have Saturn. Right, we have this. Malika Yoga. In fact, there is like big Graha Malika Yoga, but these plants are directly after the Jupiter, influencing him strongly. So we have the Lord Fort and the Karaka Mars. Both are related to the place of the wealth. So that is the real point. That is, that is the secret here, which will be reliably uh, giving us also answers in other charts. And we see that person reach out to others also in that process. Lagna Lord in the seven. He's making those deals, those agreements. He's shaking the hands, Jupiter and Mercury. So we have both Fort and both how he does this. Lagna Lord in the seven. He is very proactive. He's taking the manners in the own hands. Okay, guys, so that will be these two very important points of wealth. 11 from Harold Lagna and the Fort from Sun. Don't forget to take into account this Parivartana this can change the scenario. I hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to click the thumbs up, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching till the end. And if you are hungry for more, please consider watching this one here.